So I've been in a little bit of a rut. I've noticed that this always happens right after summer. I'm not exactly sure why, but for the past few weeks, I've been seeing the worst of it. As you can see here, I was on my phone too much, going to bed too late, waking up too late, not going to the gym, and not in a routine. But as the new year approaches, I figured it was a good idea and probably for the best interest of myself to fix it now. So let's start to glow up physically and mentally together. Step one, notice where the habit is coming from. For me, it was coming from my night routine. So I started to implement new and old habits to fix it. I try my best to go to bed early, set alarms, and stay off my phone when I'm trying to sleep. Step two, wake up early and avoid going on your phone. I've noticed that when I wake up early, I'm actually way more productive throughout my day, especially when I don't check my phone the second I wake up in the morning. Don't get me wrong, this is definitely something that's hard and does not happen all the time, but I try my best to practice it. Step three, make your bed the second you get up. Whenever I do this, I get an urge to be more productive. I'm not exactly sure why, but I know it's something that works from prior experience. And on top of this, it also helps make my room look cleaner. Step four, get ready for the day. Brush teeth, wash face, fix your hair, take my vitamins. Doing these simple things help me feel confident about myself. It's important to me to feel and look my best, and doing these things as soon as I get out of bed in the morning definitely help. I was always someone who would never really do my hair until I needed to go out, but I've noticed that staying in a routine and getting things done in a timely manner helps more because I am less rushed and feel better about my appearance. But just in case anyone needs to hear this right now, you are beautiful just the way you are. Step five, journal. I've said this in many of my videos, but journaling is one of the main reasons I've become more positive. Right now, whoever you are, I want you to ask yourself these questions and really think about the answers. How did my year go? Am I happy with where I am right now? What went good? What went bad? What can I do to make 2024 better? If there's one thing I noticed, reflection is key to becoming our best selves. Setting goals comes from reflection. I want you to take a second and write down below in the comments three goals that you want to have in 2024 and how you plan on making those come true. Sometimes it's hard for me to motivate myself, so I figured we can talk it out together and help each other out. Step six, read. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that I read all the time because I don't. Sometimes it's hard for me to even pick up a book, but what I've noticed is when I do read, even if it's just 10 pages a day, I feel better. I think it has something to do with knowing that I am doing something to better my knowledge. Another thing I realized is that reading can also be about anything you enjoy, whether that's a book, magazine, newspaper, or even article. I'm going to try my best to read 10 pages a day until the end of the year and see how much it improves my daily routine. Step seven, eat breakfast and drink water. I'm someone who isn't the biggest fan of breakfast, and trust me, I know if you love breakfast, that's probably crazy to hear, but it's just not my favorite meal of the day. However, it is the most important meal. If I've learned anything this year, it's that fueling your body is one of the most important things. This morning, I was really craving something sweet, so I decided to have a pastry and that's okay. Listening to my body is the goal here, and where I won't eat this every single day, it is okay to have once in a while. Next, drink water. Staying hydrated is so important, and I've read and heard that there are many benefits to having water. I've also heard that lemon is very healthy for you, so I'm trying to implement that into my water as much as I can. Step eight, workout. Personally, I love working out. I enjoy going to Orange Theory, but on my off days, I like to do a slow pace at home workout to keep my body moving. As you can see, that's clearly what I'm doing here. Whenever I work out, I feel my best and confident in my skin, so that's what I'm going to be doing to keep the last step of my morning routine good to kickstart my day. Now, let's get into my external glow up. It is now time for the external part of this glow up. If you guys know me, you know I do this video yearly and it is actually one of my favorite videos because it's one of my best reflection videos, I feel like. I am going to be doing my makeup and before I start even explaining why I like to make this video, I wanna say right now, please realize that you are beautiful just the way you are. I'm just doing this because I didn't feel my best on the inside and these are just some things that get me back into a routine. I feel like for myself, I do the best when I shine on the inside and I feel like a lot of people can relate to that so what I like to do in this little part of my glow up is just talk about my goals and stuff like that I feel like there is two sides to a glow up there's one that comes within and then there's one that shows on the outside personally I've always been the person to believe that when you are doing well inside you will shine on the outside and that's why I like to do that part of the video first because I do really think it comes from your internal glow up and I think that's what really does help me the most 
because feeling good on the inside, there's like no other feeling like that. It's unmatched and I highly recommend focusing on that more because at the end of the day, you want to feel good. As I mentioned before, you're beautiful just the way you are and if you feel good and fulfilled, that's fabulous. But for me personally, I didn't and I feel like this happens around this time of year for myself every year. So that's why I really like to take some time and reflect. The number one thing I have realized is that reflection is what really helps growth and whenever I journal, whenever I try my best to reflect, I like to really think about my goals, like to think if I met any of them and also like to realize and recognize what I did good because it's really important not to always be so hard on yourself. It's good to recognize the things that you can do better on and the things that you're lacking, but it's also good to reward yourself and notice your accomplishments. Another thing I really noticed that helps is saying affirmations to myself and I do this because it is something that tricks my mind. If you don't know what an affirmation is, it's basically just telling yourself that something is already yours, but you're being positive. So for example, if I was trying to teach myself confidence, I would say to myself every single day, I am so happy and grateful now that I am confident. You're basically telling yourself that you already are and telling yourself those positive things it really does eventually start to trick your mind. I talked about that in one of my weight loss videos that I posted this year, and I'm not gonna talk too much about that in this video because I know it's a sensitive subject. The only thing I am going to say is in that video, I made a video telling myself that I can do it every single day and I posted it in that video. And if you watch that video back, you can see that in the beginning of the video, I was looking to the side. Looking to the side when you're telling yourself something is an indication of lying. And as the video gets to the point where I met my goal, I stop looking to the side naturally and I start actually believing in myself. So that's just proof that it actually does work because when I did start, I did not believe in myself at all, but I needed something to keep me going. And I knew that if I kept going, I would start to believe in myself and I really did. So that's something I would highly recommend. And that video literally proves it. Somebody commented that on my video and then I went back and looked at it and I was like, oh my God, that is so true. And that is so cool. But going back to what I said, I just think that treating yourself good and telling yourself those positive affirmations is something that can really help. And I've seen it actually really help me. So that's what I try to do. Going back onto the reflection part, the more and more you allow yourself to reflect on things that may have went good and went bad, the more you'll actually get closer to reaching your goal because then you can self-adjust to what may have went not the best that you might be needing to fix to make it get better. As for goals, I'm gonna talk about my goals in a different video because I literally have so many for 2024 and there's kind of like a new way I went about picking my goals. But something that I would really suggest if you are trying to figure out new habits and stuff like that is looking on Pinterest. And I know that may sound a little silly, but whenever I'm stuck or in a rut, the best thing I like to do is look on Pinterest because it gets me motivated. Just seeing and visualizing other things that are my goals really do help me actually want to start and want to become motivated. As I mentioned before, motivation can be really hard sometimes. And sometimes I'll literally look in the mirror for days and have no motivation to do something. And I'll just keep saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow or oh, I'll do it this day or oh, I'll try again in a week. And then by the end of that week, I realize that I am in the same place that I was a year ago. So I think it's really important to just notice that when you tell yourself things and when you tell yourself you're going to do something, stick to it for yourself and prove yourself wrong. Because the number one thing that I noticed with whenever I start to actually glow up and feel better inside is when I start to prove myself wrong. When I was doing my weight loss journey, it was really hard for me some days to stay motivated, which is why I made that video, which was explaining to myself that I can do it. And eventually I did prove myself wrong. If you don't know, the only thing I will say is I lost around 60 plus pounds and it was in a very fast amount of time. I will say that there is reasons why that happens and there's also health reasons to why that happens. So please keep that in mind. And also I'm not certified in what I'm saying in that video or this one. I'm just telling you my experience and my advice. I feel like when people share those types of things, it can be really helpful because it lets other people know that you're not alone and that other people may have been through a similar situation to what you may be going through. And for me, it really helped to know that I wasn't alone. Another thing I wanted to mention is I feel like it's important to say that because we live on a world where social media is very, very heavy and where that's good for a lot of reasons, that's also not good for different reasons. And and I feel like the way people portray themselves on the internet isn't always accurate. I'm not saying that it's not for everybody, 
Of course, there are going to be times where social media is completely accurate, but I just think 10 times out of 15, there is something that is not being shown. And of course, that's okay. That's completely that person's decision. And I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I haven't done that myself. Of course I have, because some things you just don't want to share online. But all I'm trying to say is if you see a picture, just remember that just because you're seeing all the good doesn't mean that nothing ever went wrong. I'm saying that because I felt like that before. I look at TikToks all the time and I'm like, wow. And I'm saying this because sometimes when I see that, I'll get very upset with myself because I feel like maybe I'm not on the right path and stuff like that. Where in reality, you just might not know the whole story. And of course, I wish all well on everybody and I'm happy for everyone's successes. That is something that really helped me be able to grow within myself because it just allowed me to realize that good opportunities will continue to come, but also good opportunities are worked for. They're not always given. Just remember to self-reflect. Remember that most of the things you do receive are earned from your goals, from things you do in your everyday life. And for me, that really starts with routine, which is why I'm being so hard on myself on sticking to this routine because I am more successful when I am in a routine. I feel like I just went on a very long rant about goals and stuff like that, but I feel like it's necessary, especially when the new year is coming up because I'm someone who really wants to succeed even more in 2024. With that being said, I am going to go pick out an outfit. My makeup is done. I'm trying not to put eyeliner on as much now unless I have to, and I'm not sure if I like it, so let me know because I don't know. But I'm gonna go pick out an outfit. I like to always try to look my best. I'm very late right now. I have to go to a event, so I'm gonna put my outfit that I choose right here on the screen. Feeling good and feeling confident in myself is something that really helps me, and whether that's wearing sweatpants and a sweatshirt or leggings and a sports bra or jeans and a top or a dress or a skirt, it doesn't matter. It's whatever makes you feel your best. It doesn't matter what the person next to you is doing. Do what makes you feel confident. Just because you see me wearing a dress in the outfit I'm gonna wear or a skirt and a cute shirt doesn't mean that there's days that I don't wear sweatpants and I go out and I still feel confident. I'm just saying I feel my best when I am a little more dressed up just because it makes me feel better about myself. But there's also times where I do wear sweatpants and I feel just as good. So do what makes you feel best. Don't feel like you have to do something because other people are doing it. It's really about you. And once you learn about yourself, the game really does start to change. But it really all does come from believing in yourself and knowing that you can do anything you set your mind to. With that being said, I am gonna go to my event. So thank you guys again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you stayed up until this point of the video, comment a yellow heart down below and next to it, write, I can do this. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.